a weird way, it all makes sense. I'd already lost my relationship with you, my husband, my daughters. May as well lose all my possessions as well. I really am sorry. I'm just going to have to reinvent myself from scratch. I meant what I said at the hospital. Yeah, I know. But too much has happened. I've decided to give you what's left of the money after I paid for Amanda's house. But in exchange, I want you out of my life. I've got nowhere to go. I've got the clothes I'm standing in. It was easy to walk away. And I mean today, Mum. I'll send you the money when I've got it all figured out. with my details as soon as I'm settled. Yeah, thanks for all your help, Senior Constable. Okay, bye. Hey, I just got your message. I got here as soon as I could. Are you sure you're doing the right thing here? Do you, you really need to leave the bay just because Drew's holding the money over you? No, no, it's, it's for the best. Well, I'm really sorry this has all happened like this. So am I. You take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Jazz. Um, how are you getting to the city? Um, <laughs> the bus. Would you let me drive you? I'm, I'm free this afternoon. Tony, really like it's... Seriously, I would love to. Thanks. <laughs> I'll be in the car. Well, Jazz isn't my favourite person, but to think she's lost absolutely everything. Oh, it's such a waste, the whole thing. I mean, to think what Drew could have done with that money. Anyway, sorry, mate. Um, how's things with your sister? Yeah, not too bad, actually. Tam seems to be settling down nicely at Sal's. It's obviously just what she needed. Oh, it might be what she needs, but the rest of us could do without it. Colleen? And what do you mean by that? Well, only that she's been nothing but trouble to Sally from the minute she landed on her doorstep. Well, Sal said that she's been great. Oh, should have known. This is nice. It's just a shame you've had such a restless night with a cold. I'd go up and wake her. Do you know how far away Brad is? Oh, I'm sure he'll be here soon enough. So, um, how's the scooter going? I heard you revving it up out there before. Yeah, pretty good. I think I'll take it out for a run a bit later on. Oh, that sounds like fun. You know, I used to have an old posties bike. Really? Can't seem to picture you as a cool biker dude, Mrs. Stewart. Oh, that's probably because I wasn't. Flaming thing used to conk out all the time. I spent most of my time pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> at least one time at this pub that Mum and I used to hang out at, this biker guy paid me to pass him. What? Yeah, 100 bucks. He had no teeth, he was about 40. Don't worry, I didn't cash him. I did get the cash though. <clears throat> Took it while he was passed out drunk. Good timing. How long did you think you could fool me, pretending to be on your best behaviour? I wasn't pretending anything. I've heard everything, Tam. The whole works. Um, Brad, I can explain. Thank you, but in spite of what you think, I can handle this. These people have gone out of their way to let you into their home, and this is how you repay them? Yeah. It's nice that they make me sick. You don't want me here. None of you do. And don't worry, feeling's totally mutual. Maybe someone should go after her. Oh, well, I'll go. She has not.
Could this mystery man Please meet you, Rachel. be her Mr. Right? Plus, she's loved him like a father for nearly 20 years. But what could Alf do that's so terrible to turn her away from him? God, what have I done? You'll find out this week on Home and Away.